Milking buffalo. Everybody wants to know if you can, and in this video, we're gonna find out. But first, I've got an issue I've gotta take care of. As you can see, this pond we have right here is completely dry. Let me take you to another one. So we've been on this property for about six years now, and this is one of the original ponds. This pond is actually spring-fed off the top up here. I have never seen this pond this low before. It's dropped about four feet off that side, which is crazy because it is spring-fed, so it has a constant trickle of water coming into it. It really isn't that deep of a pond anyway. It's probably somewhere around seven feet deep so dropping four feet i'm guessing it's somewhere around three feet now and that's not a whole lot of water left in that fortunately the buffalo don't need access to this yet and they are watering off the top pond let's go take a look at it the buffalo have been in this five acre field for the last week or so this is more of a dry lot for us right now. It got damaged pretty heavy last year, so there's really not a whole lot of grass in it. They were in this 25 acre field, which is nice, really good grass, but I wanted to open up a little bit more to them so this doesn't get damaged. So now they have this too, so they can go back and forth. Now they're on about 30 acres. As most of you know, the term buffalo or bison is actually used interchangeably when it comes to the American buffalo. The term buffalo is a nickname essentially, but the term bison is a scientific name technically. Quite frankly, I think it's a little bit silly why everyone has to call them bison because they are scientifically called bison. My first name is actually Jonathan and my middle name is actually Noah. So Jonathan is my technical name but I don't get called by it and it doesn't bother me a bit. Buffalo and bison, I feel the same way about. Well, what gets a little bit more confusing is water buffalo or true buffalo are sometimes nicknamed bison. So that can be really confusing. But in this video, when I say buffalo, we're referring to the American buffalo or the American bison. Although milking water buffalo is actually quite common, we're just gonna be talking about milking American buffalo this time. So this is actually the pond that the buffalo are getting their water from over in that 25 acre field. There's a pipe that runs underneath the dam and it has a valve on the other side. The issue is, as you can see, this is about four foot low too. This is about a half acre pond. It's not a bad sized pond, it's not huge, but it's actually a decent sized pond, at least for our property. Since this water line is dropping so fast, we're gonna have to do something about it. They say that many have tried to milk buffalo, but few have lived to tell the tale. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. That being said, there are actually some tales of people milking buffalo. Well, I sure don't see it in here. Maybe it's in the cabin. Maybe we've just grown soft because most of the stories of milking buffalo are from the late 1800s, over a hundred years ago. I better take this off in case things go horribly wrong. day to do this. Yes, it's pretty windy. It's hard to stay in one spot. Cut about nine inches off that pipe. That's the pipe that actually feeds underneath the dam 
to that buffalo water. Hopefully that'll buy us a little bit more time and hopefully it rains soon. There's a few really good reasons why most people don't try to get underneath buffalo to try to milk them. Number one and most obvious is their temperament. Even though they seem really docile out in the field, that temperament changes really quick whenever you try to lay your hands on them. It would take a really special buffalo just to even get your hands on them to be able to milk them. The second major reason would be the stress of the animal. This is actually another buffalo wallow they've been working on. It's a little bit bigger than that other one we showed in the last video. That pipe that we cut goes all the way underneath the dam to a valve right down here. We turned that valve down a little bit. We had it trickling into this, but it's a little bit more full than what we need. Plus, we need to conserve on water as best as we can. So I just turned it down to just a trickle. Now the second main reason why it would be very difficult to milk buffalo is stress. You would need that buffalo to calm down and to be able to de-stress in order for that milk to actually get let down so that you could milk the buffalo. You see, dairy cows are not only picked for their ability to produce a lot of milk, but they're also picked for their temperament to be able to actually have a tame, somewhat tame animal that will allow you to milk them. But like I said before, there are actually accounts of people milking these animals. It just would take the perfect circumstance. It would take the perfect animal to be able to have the right temperament and it would take the right person to be able to have enough guts to get underneath there and try it. Those brave few that have done it before said that the milk is such a high quality. They said that there's no off color, meaning that the milk is bright white. It has a really high cream content, and beyond that, it's really, really sweet. Pay attention to sound The one that's coming from your mouth Don't mean to turn it upside down I really wanna hear you well. I can't know how it is. Now, although the National Bison Association does not condone mixing buffalo with cattle, and neither do I, honestly, experiments were actually done in the late 1800s to where they mix buffalo with Jersey cows. And the findings were actually really amazing. The milk that came out of those crossed animals that would actually be called cattle it was really rich in cream, had no off color, was very white and was very sweet, just like buffalo milk. But the advantages to doing that was that you got a little bit more docile animal. To the sound, if I could give you more than half of me. If I could give you more than half of me. So since it's hard to milk buffalo, what happens to orphan calves? Where do you get the milk for when the calves are orphaned? In the year 2000, the first ever recorded buffalo triplets were born. This was a really cool thing for the bison community, but it posed a major problem. Typically, a mother buffalo will be able to produce enough milk to support one calf. Obviously, this is a major problem because there were three. Fortunately, these three calves were able to make popular buffalo milk replacer or buffalo formula. But the problem with buffalo formula is that it's man-made. Buffalo milk has been specially designed just for that calf. And buffalo formula has been designed by humans and what we think that calf needs, but we really don't know 100% for sure. So buffalo milk is so much better. In the case of an orphan calf, some buffalo ranchers will use a surrogate mother. And the most common would be a dairy cow, typically one that would have a high milk cream content like a Jersey or a brown Swiss. On rare occasions, goats have actually been used and worked out well too. As long as they have been tested for some diseases that buffalo can get like malignant catarrhal fever. 
Try saying that twice. What they call grafting takes place in some rare circumstances also. What that consists of is if a calf dies and another orphan calf appears, they will try to take that orphan calf and connect it with the mother of the calf that died. But what you have to do in order for that to happen is a little tricky. You have to take the hide of the calf that died and you have to attach it to the orphan calf. And then once that mother goes up to that orphan calf and smells it, the idea is that she thinks it's hers and then she will adopt it and let it start nursing. But it doesn't always go as planned. This has worked on numerous occasions, but as you can imagine, it is a very rare circumstance. It's obviously best just to let nature do its own work, but when it comes to an orphan calf, buffalo producers will do whatever it takes to be able to save that animal. If you found this video interesting, click here where we talk about how buffalo made the prairie look like the surface of the moon. Tell me.